Dinosaurs not only cause enthusiasm in the eyes of children, but also fascinate grown-ups. This video will answer the question if we will ever be able to bring back dinosaurs to life, and if so, how. But before we start the scientific fact check on Jurassic Park, feel free to subscribe and activate the notification bell to support the channel. Dinosaurs dominated the planet for a long period of 100 millions of years. 66 million years ago, however, a mass extinction event caused by an asteroid impact sealed the end of the age of non-avian dinosaurs such as Tyrannosaurus rex and others. But not all dinosaurs are extinct. Today, our modern birds are living descendants of these gigantic ancient animals. In the Jurassic Park movies, scientists could successfully bring dinosaurs back to life. An insect, more precisely a mosquito preserved in amber, was found. In the movie, the scientists analyzed the body liquids of the mosquito and found that the insect had sucked blood from dinosaurs more than 66 million years ago. With the dinosaur DNA that was present in the blood, the scientists used the genetic information to clone dinosaurs. This was the beginning of the gigantic amusement park of extinct dinosaurs called Jurassic Park. Neglecting all ethical discussions for now, does the story of Michael Crichton remain fiction or can we also bring dinosaurs back to life in the future? To answer this question, it is necessary to analyze the limitations. Looking at DNA as a molecule, we see that it is degraded over time. DNA cannot be preserved forever. More precisely, DNA has a half-life of 521 years. In other words, after around 500 years, only half of the DNA copy number is left. Each 521 years, the remaining DNA molecules are halved again and so on. Under this condition, scientists predicted that DNA would be entirely gone after around 1 million years. Even under the most perfect conditions, which would be a short DNA molecule that is preserved at around minus 5 degrees Celsius, the last hydrogen bond would be destroyed after around 6 or 7 million years. However, this is nowhere near the age of the last living non-avian dinosaurs in the Cretaceous. T-Rex and Co. are extinct for 66 million years. Even though some research groups once in a while claim to have found dinosaur DNA, Scientists are rather skeptical of these findings and, with our current knowledge, it is extremely improbable that humans will ever find DNA molecules older than 6 million years. But what if we take a look at a more recent ancient animal that is extinct today but walked on the planet until around 5000 years ago? The woolly mammoth is an interesting candidate of such de-extinction projects. There is one group in Harvard, around George Church, with plans to bring back the woolly mammoth in the near future. The group has identified 45 genes that were associated with the mammoth phenotype, such as shaggy long hair or cold adapted blood that would ensure cold resistance. Most closely related to the mammoth is the Asian elephant. The Church group takes skin cells of the elephant, so-called fibroblasts, and use modern CRISPR techniques, which can be described as a gene scissor, to edit the identified mammoth genes into the elephant genome. These hybrid cells can be grown in cell culture. To be more accurate, instead of bringing back the mammoth, it is more an attempt to create an Asian elephant that has mammoth traits, as the engineered fibroblasts alone cannot develop into an animal, cloning is required, which is widely known from Dolly, the sheep. The essential part of the fibroblast is the nucleus, which contains the elephant genome, including the newly inserted mammoth genes. In addition, we need an elephant egg cell. The nucleus of that egg cell has to be removed and the engineered nucleus can be inserted. Classical cloning approaches that were also used in case of Dolly the sheep require a surrogate mother. In our case of the mammoth, the most closely related species is the Asian elephant. The developing embryo could be implanted into a surrogate mother, which could then give birth to the woolly elephant that can develop into the Asian elephant with the mammoth phenotype. The group around Church considers to avoid a surrogate mother and plans to use more artificial ways to grow the elephant. Cloning by nuclear transfer 
has never been successful for elephants to date and artificial ways would exclude the additional problem of a likely incompatibility of the surrogate mother and the embryo. As the project received extensive funding, we can be excited to learn more from these ambitious plans in a few years. Initially, it wasn't about the mammoth, but about dinosaurs. The Velociraptor is an iconic example of a dinosaur. An animal that was a little larger compared to a chicken or turkey today. We have already answered that it is highly improbable to ever find dinosaur DNA. But are there other ways to bring back dinosaurs? Similar to what is recently done with the mammoth, a chicken can be used and certain traits may be adapted so that the chicken gains dinosaur features. How can that be accomplished? The technique is referred to as reverse engineering. A specific feature of the dinosaur is observed. In this case the long and feathered tail. Looking at other birds or the developmental program of birds we may find which genes are responsible for an elongated tail. If a sequence has been discovered, the DNA fragment can be inserted into the chicken genome using modern CRISPR approaches and from an egg cell a chicken might hatch that develops a velociraptor-like tail. As a next feature, we might look at which genes could transform the chicken beak into the velociraptor snout. In fact, a research group could successfully modify the beak to demonstrate this phenotype in chicken already. Since the limited DNA half-life is the cause why the Velociraptor genome may never be revealed, one has to find DNA that expresses similar phenotypes. Therefore, this approach is called reverse engineering. With more dinosaur features, the chicken might look more like a Velociraptor in the end. This was the pure scientific view on this research field. But what is your opinion? Is it ethical to bring long extinct animals back like this? What are potential consequences? I await you in the comment section. Like the video if it was entertaining or inspiring and make sure to hit subscribe to support the channel. Thanks for watching.